And with Ricardo Tavera this morning with Hawaii Eco Divers. Now, Ricardo teaches a breath, work, and water survival course on the North Shore. And this morning, we're talking about a law that took effect last year that is making it hard for you to teach your course. And it actually is Bill 19, special permits for commercial activities that benefit, um, you know, a lot of the surfers, the lifeguards, mm -hmm. the community in general. Uh, so tell me, what is the issue here? Well, the issue is they ban all commercial activities on the North Shore. Uh, and we understand the reason why they, they did this, but it, it is affecting um, uh, professionals, companies like myself who work with the community or courses. I've been teaching diving uh, ocean safety courses on the North Shore for the past 18 years. We've always had the permits to operate uh, those particular locations, Waimea Bay, Sharks Cove, Three Tables, uh, Sunset Beach area. Uh, but recently they passed this bill and now we are not allowed to teach our courses anymore. I actually got in trouble for teaching this course in the beginning of the year because I didn't know any of this uh, seriousness about the, the permitting and stuff. So uh, basically we cannot teach our courses anymore. And we feel like our, cor our course is, 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 is so good for the community. I've had so many kids, so many people from the North Shore that actually survived because and of the course. And this Guy Hagi taking Guy Hagi your course. Guy Hagi took the class a couple times. He took his son the last time he wow. came. And there are a lot of influential people to the community. Our course is free for all lifeguards of Oahu, Hawaii, uh, Sydney County lifeguards. Uh, I work, I've worked with all kinds of professionals in the industry, uh, life-saving. Mm -hmm. uh, we teach life-saving courses. We are uh, a PADI facility. We are an American Red Cross facility. So we teach uh, CPR courses, AD courses, life-saving courses in our workplaces. You know, those areas that were banned with the uh, but just to be clear, activities. you're not opposed to the bill because the intent no. is meant to, you know, preserve and protect the wildlife that's there. I understand the yeah. frustration of the community with Lenake, with all the tour buses, with Sharks Cove. Uh, and I feel uh, privileged to live in such a great community that want to protect the area. But at the same time, we are not just protecting. We are um, kind of prohibiting uh, such a great course uh, to be taught for kids, this course saved lives. Mm -hmm. uh, well, and I know you have a lot of support from the community. Uh, we do, you have a lot of letters that people sent in to support your, your cause here. Uh, let's read this one from Kaino McGee, a lifeguard. Uh, I agree with the general merits of the bill, but I also strongly believe that there should be very minimal exceptions to the rule. As a North Shore city and county of Honolulu lifeguard, these classes are essential and absolutely necessary. Exceptions should be made. Correct. Recently, I taught a kid, and he, um, after the course, he got caught by three waves in their pipeline. Mm -hmm. He got stuck on the rocks. He was able to free himself. And he, his father called me personally, thanking the course because he did save his life. I've, I've had so many people coming back to me and saying the benefits of this course to the community of the North Shore and banning this course uh, from te teaching it to, to the local community is actually causing harm to the community. So we are just asking for some type of exceptions to the permit and mm -hmm. companies like us, professionals like myself, we should be able to continue working with the community and being protected by the law. Not. Um, you know, disturbed, punished. yeah, punished yeah. by the law. And I understand you did have a hearing recently. You were the first of the businesses that were cite, cited. For the, um, the first one, yes. And luckily the judge sided with you in this case and yes. uh, did not fine you. No. But long term, though, you know, you have to kind of see what can be done. Are you going to do a petition? What's we're going to work with the community. We're going to work with the lawmakers. Um, I have a meeting later today with some of the lawmakers, and we're going to present, um, you know, the, the issue. And all we want is to be heard as a community because um, we feel like this is protecting the community. Our work is not bringing massive amount of tourists to the, those locations. Our job is to actually um, promote ocean safety, water safety to our community. Mm -hmm. Well, these are very important points you bring up. We will continue to follow it. Thank you so Thank much, you very much for sharing awesome. your story here on Thank the show you. this morning.